Hey, yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to a, another video on the Discord Storage YouTube channel with me here and today we're going to be going ahead and showing you the complete setup process, my personal opinion, again, same we've done for Dino and Me6, this time it's going to be uh, Carl Watt. Now, uh, Carl's a bit different in my opinion in how, you know, the setup should be, uh, I'm going to show you a few things, kind of commands, uh, logging, reaction roles, a couple of things about Carl people don't know about. Um, I'm hoping, so today's Friday, I'm hoping this video is going to go up about an hour or two, it's 10.30 right now, um, I'm hoping that the kind of next kind of um, schedule for this channel, because it's been very bad, um, I realised that, you know, a couple of videos have started to get a bit of traction, uh, whatnot, I feel like I, I want to dedicate a bit more time to this channel, I'm thinking for now, I'm going to set an upload schedule of 6pm uh, BST, um, every Friday now likely that I'll move on to two to three days a week when we get down the line for now I'm saying yeah Friday once a week so that you know we don't have many many weeks without uh, content anyway uh, my little ramble there we're gonna go ahead straight into it first uh, thing we're gonna go ahead and do is show you the dashboard this uh, link for this site will be in the description otherwise you see car.gg simple as click login It'll ask you, you know, to verify, it may ask you to log in if you haven't logged in before. You know, once you've logged in, it will save your cookies for the site and it will be all, all good. Then you just kind of click the server you want. Uh, sorry about this, there's a pop-up here that you can't see. Just the way I've got recording, you just basically click on the server you want, click continue, give the perms. I recommend if you're going to be using this as a mod bot, uh, give it admin, you know, it's totally not an issue. Done. It will give you into the... Uh, into the uh, dashboard and then you know you can kind of uh, kind of just make sure that it's in your server which obviously it is so that's not an issue um, so first kind of main page it gives you recent actions is just a log of any recent actions made within the dashboard on the bot so you know if you've got admins fucking about with it you can see what the hell they're doing nickname self-explanatory change your nickname prefix can have any prefix here i recommend using a prefix which doesn't interject with other bots you have so if you have dino for example dino generally uses the question mark prefix so you could delete it because by default it uses the exclamation mark and the question mark prefix so that any command pulled uh, from carbot will uh, reply with either so if you've got dino i recommend deleting the question mark or if you've changed dino and it's an exclamation mark delete it or Go fully custom add whatever prefix you want now uh, to be honest i'm only really going to be showing you uh commands the moderation logging and reaction roles levels as a premium service however personally i wouldn't recommend going with this i'd recommend using arcane for that which of course i'll have another video on that however straight away i'm just going to go into auto mod uh, to begin with now auto mod is you know same as any other thing uh, if you don't want links, invites, bad words to be used, etc, etc, you know, this is your place to do that. Um, your first kind of thing is a log channel. This will be where if something gets deleted or something gets banned, blah, 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 it will go here. It will tell you what's happened. Drama channel is, anyway, it's uh, premium only, yeah, but you know, as you see, it will show the punishment to post in a channel. Guess people can kind of argue about it. Haven't really seen this been used. Uh, not too much, so I wouldn't bother. Mute role. You can either select a mute role or when you go ahead and mute somebody, generally it will make a role for you. Uh, you can do a command to kind of select it in the in the server. It's not too issue. Whitelisted channels basically means that if you've got a channel here, um, say, you, say you've blocked links, for example, but you want a self-promo channel, you can whitelist that self-promo channel and the links will be allowed and they won't get deleted. For example, same for whitelisted roles. If you want your staff roles to be able to bypass the uh, auto mod, again, you'd put those role here. Media only channels. Basically, if you've got a media or a memes channel, you don't want people to be able to text in there, but you want them to be able to send pictures, images, videos. You'd select that here and it would delete any text or anything else. Make sure that only media is sent. Uh, delete scary files so that if, if a dodgy file is sent uh, 
if card detects it as being a dodgy file, it will delete it, make sure everyone's safe. In terms of links here, again, you can choose your kind of link mode, blacklist will obviously blacklist them, uh, blacklist of domains, you know, say you don't want, say, Pornhub or whatever to be shown, you'd add that link here. You can choose the punishments for whichever, which, you know, there's a lot of here. I generally would do delete message and perhaps warn or temp mute depending on your server. That's the way I do it. You can choose how many links it punishes in, how many seconds between each link, etc, etc. Save it. Bad words, spam, self-explanatory. Add your words. It will delete it. You can choose the punishment again. Same sort of thing. Same for spam. Warning threshold will mean that after a certain amount of warnings say you said it's the five whatever then after five warnings you can tempt mute them for however long or you can select whichever um punishment you deem necessary for your certain situation and server mention spam someone spams at everyone or at a load of people whichever attachments kind of self-explanatory i assume you get the gist of it uh moderation again log channel reports um Ban settings will be when someone gets banned, you can choose to send, you know, the name, who did it, or just not to DM them. This can be, uh, you know, how many message, how many days of messages get purged when people get banned, because when people get banned, their messages do get deleted. Warn, mute, temp ban. Again, you can customize what happens, uh, how long, you know, etc, etc. I assume it's pretty self-explanatory and you can kind of disable and enable these as you wish. Um, kind of how it is. Now, personally, I don't use any of these commands in uh, Carbot. I don't because uh, I don't like Carbot for moderation. However, if you've got Dino, Dino does go down every now and then. So if you want to use Car as a kind of secondary bot for that, it's possible to do so. Obviously, I'd make sure the prefixes are changed, as I told you. Um, but depending on what you want, you can kind of just go to the settings and set up uh, each setting within each of these permission, sorry, commands. I personally disable them. It's just me. I don't like them. However, there are a few which are pretty nice. For example, if a load of people have joined in a certain amount of time, you can basically... Uh, do a command to see the recent joins and you can just ban them all in the event of like a raid uh, for example it's kind of pretty self-explanatory and what you want to do what you want to do with them again personally i disable them just because i don't use cardboard at all for this um i don't really use cardboard anymore actually for anything but i used to use it for logging because the logging feature is really really good i've personally kind of switched over kind of fully to dino so i use dino for that now but carbot logging is really really nice i recommend turning all of this on again channels are created roles uh server sort of stuff your default log channel is where all of them would go uh member log channel will be any of these server logs will log all of this into one channel i generally separate i have a server log channel a member log a message log and i don't really log voice uh voice events but you can i would turn these on which are message events uh stuff like that voice events if someone joins moves or leaves the channel you want to put these on it will be good if your server's pretty big then voice uh voice logs are going to get a bit hectic and pointless to actually search through stuff but again it depends on your your use case scenario for members joining and leaving if you need to have that set up then you know go ahead and do so but essentially that's it here ignored channels won't log anything in that channel so say you've got say you've got a log channel for all your staff to see but you don't want to log anything in your admin channel you know you want that to be secret to your admins or whatever then maybe you would ignore the admin channel for example or you know another channel which you don't want all the staff to see or you want it just just to not log at all because nothing's going to happen you could put that here you know you don't need to select every single channel for whatever but that's what you would generally do um i've gone pretty quickly i'm sure 
if I have, then you know you can go back and slow it down, all of that. The last thing I'm going to really show you is reaction rolls. Now, reaction rolls is so so simple. Um, I personally would use an ID. I think it looks a little bit more professional. I think the embed looks stupid, stupid as hell. Now, I'm gonna. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna just make a real quick roll. Let's just make it, you know. Uh, has you know whatever make it test give it a yellow color you know whatever it doesn't really matter then we're gonna go please react here for the test roll now uh, make sure you've got the ID of the message which can be done by going into uh, appearance okay so yeah so make sure you've got the ID of the message to enable that you'd need to go into advanced and turn on developer mode it used to be in appearance but it seems they've changed it to advanced make sure you've got that turned on and then you should be able to right click and copy the id now what you're going to go ahead and do is put in that message id here select the channel i think it was general yes it was uh there are many different types of reactions generally you're going to want to do normal if you choose the verify one it will make sure that the reaction stays at one you react get it get the members role however you've got it set up and they won't be able to unreact or remove it um you can kind of uh change uh customize this so if you if you want only people with a certain role to actually get roles say you want to make it so then only members can get role you'd put in that role here or maybe you don't want somebody to be able to get a role so maybe your muted role you don't want anybody with muted to be able to react and get a new roles you'd put that in here again depends on your use case scenario i'm just going to go over tick here um it's because i just made the role as you know okay, i'm going to refresh obviously you know make sure you've got your role done before doing this i'll probably be okay anyway yeah i don't know why i'm not even showing up my the role that i just made even when refreshing but you know, typically I refresh and signed out and all that. I don't know why it's not working. It's probably just uh, not cached it yet. But anyway, generally what you would do is do you use ID, put the ID in, choose your channel, uh, add your emoji, whatever you want it to be. Your role would be here. You click it. Um, if you want it to just be a normal reaction where they click it, they get the role, they, they click it again to remove uh, the role and it's done. You then click create. Obviously that's created a reaction with no role, uh, but because I didn't have the role, it didn't actually save. So, you know, you would kind of just click it. It'd give you the role, click it again, it'd remove it. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not showing up the role, but it's probably just glitched. Um, but yeah, um, that would kind of be the main things I would personally think about using Carbot for. You know, I, I, did, actually, I did go very quickly in the video, so, uh, you know if need be you can you can always go back and uh slow it down read back on what i suggested hopefully it was kind of simple to understand that was the idea of it and it should should be all good in terms of cowbot again i will be doing uh i'll probably do something like arcane next a level uh bot at some point perhaps next week or i may do a kind of moderation tips video uh, i'm not entirely sure but yeah, that's kind of it from me today. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding of Carbot after this. Um, but yeah, until until next week, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you guys slap the video like rating. Comment down below what you thought. Any suggestions on the channel, uh, videos, etc, etc. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And until next week, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.